Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So season five of the Archer Pass is out and um yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's out, I guess. Let's 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 get into the video. I'll I'll go over it more. So some decisions have been made with the Archer Pass. Been switched up quite a bit. There's now just one arch pass called the Pumpkin Pass, and this is going to change every month, so we can assume this is going to change on a Thursday next month at some point, at some point in November. Right here it says the 17th of December, so that isn't accurate. I'm pretty sure it's going to be November's the next one. And uh, yeah, a lot of feedback was given on this arch pass a few days prior to it coming out. So, all the feedback was ignored, uh, which I don't know how I feel about. Um, yeah. <laughs> we had, I, this is a problem with the PTS as well. They put the PTS out a few days before the patch. I was gonna do something on this, but I didn't realize they were pushing this out right away. I thought they were gonna wait for feedback, which I was wrong on. And we have a lot of problems on this Arch Pass. First of all, your choice is gone, so if you actually go to the register, you'll see there's the basic pass and the pumpkin pass, and the only two that you have. We then have a list of 20 rewards. My arch pass also seems to have reset. Oh good! Hold on. I had these before, and now they're gone, for whatever reason. So my arch pass also reset, which means I've lost like 15 Gilder Stars, even though it gives you 30 Gilder Stars at the start. Now I will go forever and I'll show images of like the stuff you can get. There isn't really a lot you're going to be getting. The only thing of note on here is in the premium pass, and it's the Power Stump Pumpkin Pet at the very bottom, which has one ability called Trick. I'll pull up an image of what that looks like, but uh, yeah, that's the only thing you're really getting from this. There's no choice anymore. You don't get to pick between three different arch passes. And I'm okay with them just having one monthly pass and switching it out so it can be more relevant to the month because, you know, we get stuck with like a certain type of costume or certain for three, four months time. We get, we get stuck with it for a whole quarter. So, it's not the best. I think this might be a better way of doing it. It would be nice to have the choice still, though. I feel like you're taking that away from people. And, you know, when you give us stuff and then you take it away, it's just going to cause issues. People are going to get upset by that. What people are going to get upset by even more is the fact that you can now get diligence items from the premium rewards. So... We look through here, there's the 30 days Traveler's Blessing, which... Okay, so it gives you five Hero Stone, Hero After Stones every 24 hours. Your recall cast time is reduced by half. Your recall cooldown is reduced by 20%, and then teleport cast book time is reduced by 50% as well. I don't mind this too much. This isn't a massive deal, but you get this 30 days. It's honestly really good to have that buff. It's a really nice one to have. You won't have to spend gold on here after stones for the most part. And you can, you know, your cast times are reduced and your cooldown, which is really nice. Now, they're like the least egregious ones. We have the 30 day auto loop power stone, which again, I don't mind too much. This is something you can pick up on the diligence store. But it is timed as well. It's not a fixed one. So I don't mind too much with that. This is one of the big ones. There's Symphium Soap on here. I, I suppose the Power Stone Pet ones are as big as well. I'm not sure when we get permanent Power Stone Pet things. I don't know if we've got those yet. I don't believe we do. So honestly, this is probably just as bad. But then you get stuff like Symphion Soap, and um, again, you buy these with Diligence. 
You can also sell these with diligence and you can make gold off a Symphium soap with diligence, which is why anything on here that is purchasable with diligence is a bit of a problem because the premium players won't have to buy some of these items. Like you're going to be saving like 60 gold in this Symphium soap or however much diligence you have to spend on it. You're going to be saving your diligence on the power stones. If we go further down, there's a loot drop power stone. You then also have a bound serendipity stone on there as well, which that, I mean, that gives you an advantage in game. And then as we go further down in the basic, you get 50 diligence coins and in the premium rewards, you get a hundred. So you're getting a hundred extra, extra diligence. That is how many, how many Symphian subs can we buy with that? Let's, let's go take a little peek. Hold on. Let me bring this up for us. I believe it's under here. So we can get, we can get like a free Symphian sub. So that's pretty good. Now, again, Symphian soap is worth gold. So if I go on over to the auction house. Or else I've got this on half the screen right now. Symphium Soap. These go for about 60 gold each. So essentially this is 180 gold. You can maybe get more selling over stuff as well. Not entirely sure. I've not really looked at all the numbers, but this is just the very obvious thing that should have been caught. We then also have further down radiant infusion supply. We have more auto loot stuff. And then we have tempering charms in here as well, which like these aren't time savers. This gives you a better chance of getting an upgrade with your tempering. Like sure, we got the vocation haste and that just decreases production time. That's fine. Stuff like that on there, I don't care about. Stuff like um, the Luna Charm Rank 2 is also a bit of an issue because that would cost you quite a bit to put together. It's not a lot, you know, it's not a massive thing, but that is five Luna Charms you get in there. These are in-game advantages. Even if you're seeing this more so as like, you know, catch up for people who are behind, this is still an advantage. You're still giving more to people here. The elixirs of honor and stuff, I don't mind too much. Like, I don't really care as much about these consumables. Maybe that's just me. But then we come down again, we have another 100 diligence coins we get in from here. And at the very end, you also get a multi-wagon upgrade ticket, which again can be bought for diligence or gold. So, there is a good amount of gold extra you're gonna earn or save from getting the premium rewards which is a massive issue and feedback was already given on this but it was very much ignored now i'm hoping if we could talk about it now we can uh hopefully get this changed even if it isn't this month next month this needs to be changed because this is this is a big a big thing a big change to the game I'm sh I know that I've seen a lot of people defend this, be like, well, they have to make money somehow. We did also have the garden expansion, which we paid extra for as well. Which I defended that, actually. I think the garden expansion thing was fine. I just think the issue, the only issue I had with the, the garden was the fact that you can't upgrade your Haram Scrolls to the garden Haram Scrolls. Which you should have been able to, and I don't think you can still. I would like to still see that change. But this this is a big problem. And I'm sure people on the Arcade team know this. I, they know we're going to take big issue with this. Because I'm, I'm pretty certain the people on the Arcade team are pretty passionate about the game. And they want to see it succeed. But the publisher also wants to see the game succeed. Which means two different things to the arcade team and to the publisher. They want to see the game bring in a lot of money. And I'm sure the arcade team wants to see the game actually flourish. But 
This is not this is not the way to do it. I I have not really thought this through right now, so I'm trying to think of other solutions on the go right now, but anything that's worth diligence here is a problem. The fact that you're getting more diligence from the premium rewards is a problem. Stuff like again, the vocation haste and scroll is fine. Everything else is a bit of an issue. Not only this, but the fact that we've taken away options. And I think overall people have said that you gain less. You actually gain less rewards than you would do from the previous arch passes. So we only get up to 20 this time. I've also not tested this out, which I may cut to in a moment, but you need a, you need more XP per level. And there's 20 levels and there's people saying you can't even get the four month worth of rewards with the current system which seems also like a big problem on top of that we also just had the arch pass reset the missions that i was doing reset as i was trying to make this video so that's cool as well um i don't know i just this is a big problem i don't know what else to say I, I'm sure there's going to be people that will try to defend this, but I don't, like, I can't really sugarcoat this in any way. It's just bad for the game. This is not what Unchained was supposed to be about. And I do get the, hey, the game's got to make, make the money. You got to keep the publishers happy, you know, but there are better ways to go about this. I'm sure. Like even offering more costumes on the premium rewards or something just anything anything but this because we're getting a lot less now we're not even getting the power stone pets or as the final reward now we're getting the the token instead so this month's title is spoopy what's well, spoopy is this arch pass and uh yeah my, that's my rant over so i will uh test out the mission completion we'll test that out and then we'll We'll wrap the video there. But yeah, this is going to be one of a few videos today. I've got to look at the patch notes. There's a lot I've got to go over. So yeah, let's uh, let's go cut to that. All right, I have to switch over to an alt because... Oh, it, it just reset the arch pass again? So, <laughs> for some reason, the arch pass is resetting. Cool. I've just... I've just spent gold and gilder stars. So... Right now, it appears that the Arch Pass is bugged. And the first time you unlock it, it's not actually properly unlocking. So when you close it and open it again, you've got, you've got to reset. Now, I, as you can see, I've, I actually have done mission attempts right there. So right now, that's a bit broken. So we've just missed out on a bunch of Gilded Stars, which maybe is why they're giving you 30 to start. Maybe they knew it's, but I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm I'm not happy about the late starch pass. I'm a... All right. So I actually want to see how much XP we get from doing these missions. So I'm actually just gonna spend a bunch of labor here. See what happens. So right there. We got 26% of our bar from one mission. Bear in mind, we got 12 attempts. I'm drinking on a potion. That puts us at 52%. So you need to do four per level. That's four attempts per level. And these reset weekly. So you could get to level three in a week, which means if this is a month's time, you're getting level 12. 12 is as far as you could go. I, I don't, I don't even know where to start with that. That's Surely this is a mistake. This has got to... <laughs> There's been a massive oversight here. The fact that you have to spend... You, you can't finish the Arch Pass. It's actually unfinishable. 
you can only get to nine so there's no so there's no point getting the premium because you're not getting you're not getting the power stone pumpkin pets at the end you'll you'll get your diligence you'll get the 100 diligence but you're not getting the other 100 diligence this needs fixing like as soon as possible and again i don't know someone from the arcade team just needs to come out and just tell us what's up tell us what's going on you know it Send me a DM on Twitter. <laughs> Hit me up. Just put an announcement out. Put any. And we just need this fixed as soon as possible. It's just such a mess of a new system. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Again, I've probably pulled up the image of the Power Stone pet. So you know, you know what you could have got if it worked. But you, they'll probably they probably will fix the XP at least. I don't think we'll see the premium rewards get fixed. I think that's probably gonna stay unfortunately which is a massive issue because if the game's not supposed to be paid to win and this is paid to win let's not get it wrong it is paid to win there was no if i saw them wording it like it was you know paid to convenience like, let's not have the inventory open because it's a mess and it looks terrible like they've put the personality post style on here and the bound anywhere warehouse and they've, I remember the, I think it was, they put out a message saying that, you know, it's not pay to win to have these on here. This is just pay for convenience stuff, which I guess I don't mind this too much. But again, this is stuff on the diligence store that I've spent diligence on both of these. I've spent 700 diligence to get these. And people can just, you know, swipe a card and get them. Because these are pretty important items, items to me. I like having these. They're very, very convenient. And... I don't know, I've not having these is a, just an issue for me. And I don't know, let's see, how much how much would that be? That would be like over a thousand gold worth of diligence I've spent on those two. So So yeah. Um I take less issue with that I, and more so the fact that we have these diligence items on here because you know you are going to be able to make more gold if you take the premium route here and it's just a big problem so again just if we can get some sort of update on this as soon as possible I'd like to know what, what's going on and you know at least fix the XP patch for the people that are going to pay for the premium but I would say vote with your wallet and don't pay for the premium that's the best way we can say this is a bad idea stop this that's that's all we can really do and i realize boycotts never work but uh i won't be picking up the premium pass for this because this is not the way to do it but yeah that is that is it for my arch pass video i know it's not like the usual ones where i go through and pick stuff up but there isn't really much to go through and pick out here all i can really do is uh tell you how bad the new arch pass is unfortunately which is not what i wanted this to be i wanted to look for all the fun items and be like oh this is what we're gonna get <laughs> which uh yeah so thanks for watching there's gonna be a couple more videos coming out today or tomorrow because there was a big patch dropped but i wanted to get this one out as soon as possible so yeah thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video